What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast. In this moment, we are going to discuss Kennedy Carter. Kennedy Carter, you guys know who Kennedy Carter is. That's right. Kennedy Carter mad because she is ranked below the top 25 and especially because she's ranked below Caitlin Clark. Let's get in here, guys, and take a deep dive into this article and see what Kennedy Carter is talking about. Make sure you guys thumbs up, like the video, guys, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's go. Kennedy Carter expresses unease after being ranked below Caitlin Clark in ESPN's mid-season top 25 WNBA players list. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Kennedy Carter, she can ball. The thing, in my opinion, that hurts her is her attitude, her her rage, like this nonstop anger and jealousy, especially towards Caitlin Clark. Now, I don't know uh, where this is coming from. Obviously, she's kind of always had a, a reputation uh, of being this way. She got kicked off a few teams, had to play overseas, didn't work out so well over there, and now she's back in the W. And man, like, it just seems like she's forever chasing something uh, and, and the things that she's chasing just seem to not make her happy. Um, man, she's masculine looking as crap. I will tell you that, man. But I, I'm not a huge fan of Kennedy Carter. You guys saw the hip check video. Never was a fan of her ever since. And by the way, Aaliyah Boston, what was up with that? Like, where is the fight? Like... Man, I tell you, man. Anyway, guys, that's Kennedy Carter. For those who do not remember, she also took to Twitter and said a lot of outlandish things like what else does Caitlin Clark bring to the game, which we all know. I mean, she's brought more than enough. I will not go down the list of accolades because typically I do. Okay, I'll tell you guys, she's brought a $2.2 billion media rights deal, charter jets, packed out stadiums, Ratings through the roof, the WNBA All-Star voting and the game itself was at an all-time high, record-breaking views, uh, and just et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, said I wouldn't go say it, but let's get back to the article. Chicago star Kennedy Carter recently voiced her displeasure on social media after being ranked below Caitlin Clark in ESPN mid-season top 25 WNBA player list, which I will be showing you guys shortly. Released on Wednesday, <laughs> the list plays Clark at 15th while Carter found herself nine spots lower at 24th <laughs> no one knew what to expect when carter made her return to the w following a one-year hiatus but she has been nothing short of sensational in chicago carving out a starting role after initially coming off the bench leading the sky in scoring with her lightning quick first step no one in the league can stop her from getting downhill uh to her spots and uh that's what i would tell you guys man um I think she's the best player, despite her nasty, ugly face and attitude at times. She's the best player on the Chicago Sky. You can't convince me otherwise. I just, I mean, I will give her that. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to dislike a person and, and, and not talk about what I see. What I see is a person who is superbly talented, but has a very, very nasty attitude. Out of this world, I don't know. If something happened in her childhood, I don't know what it was, but something is off a little bit in this lady. Take it to her Instagram story. The 25 year old guard expressed her frustration. How I average less minutes in my stats top in the league, but I am at the bottom. This isn't adding up. The hate be so obvious field goal percentage as well. So I guess there's speculation because she's saying the hate be so obvious uh, because of what she did to Kaylin Clark. I mean, let's call it like it is, guys. That could very much well be the reasoning. It's a lot of politics involved uh, within sports. And right now, Caitlin Clark is the golden goose, the golden child, and also the cash cow in the face of the league. I'm sorry. I know that Asia Wilson is rated a number 99 overall on 2K, which I will be making a video about that because I do disagree with the Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese being a 90. Come on, guys. Like, come on. I'm going to make a video about that. But... I believe that she's saying the hate is so obvious, uh, you know, what, what she did, you know, she did something that will always make her a bad guy in a lot of people's eyes. Maybe not the Chicago Sky base, because obviously they have to support her. But I mean, like, it made me not really like her. I'm just, <laughs> just going to be honest with you guys. It goes on to say that 
Carter's reaction stems from what she perceives as an undervaluation of her performance this season through 24 games. She has been consistent force for the Chicago Sky, averaging 17.2 points per game, along with 2.9 rebounds, 2.7 assists, and 25.1 minutes per game. And uh, for those who did not see, and that's not, that's pretty good. Uh, I, that, that's pretty good, guys. But for those who want to know what she took to her story, this is what it was, guys. So let's take a look at this list. <laughs> and this is what she wrote, uh, you know, everything that I just said. I don't really feel like reading it, even though it's inevitable. Uh, but you guys can you, you guys can take a look. So we see here, uh, Kaylin Clark is at number 15, Brittany Griner at 16. Um, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, a lot of these women do deserve these spots, especially Asia Wilson. I will say Brianna Stewart. I think Alyssa Thomas does. Uh, I don't really know too much about a lot of these names here. Uh, I don't think Kelsey Plum is, is, should be here, honestly. Uh, but Origa Gumbawale should be more high on this list, in my opinion. Um, seeing Kaylin Clark at 15, it doesn't matter where they put Kaylin Clark on this list because to a lot of people, they're going to consider her number one. I, even though Asia Wilson is goaded, she's doing her thing, a lot of Kaylin Clark's popularity and just her swagger her face everything just makes her seem like the number one person it's like the lebron james effect the michael jordan effect uh the kobe Bryant effect you guys already know how it goes right so supposedly kennedy carter is here at 24 not too bad at least you made the top 25 uh and i and i get it uh maybe you want to be you know higher on the list but in reality I mean, let's just be honest, guys. In reality, even if Kennedy Carter was number one, which would be crazy, um, she still wouldn't probably receive, like, the love. Maybe it's a self thing. Maybe she wants the world to react and feel the way that she feels. But she's painting herself in a negative light. So I just don't see that happening. I have no problem with the list. Uh, maybe Kennedy Carter could possibly move up a few spots. But... Uh, I think that this list is pretty accurate for the most part. I don't agree with a lot of, uh, a few of the names, a few names, but I think that, you know, they show love and spread uh, the skill sets properly. You know what I'm saying? And it, it says thoughts on here. So let's get everybody's thoughts. And this is based off Kennedy's Carter's, uh, you know, tweet and post women's national butthurt association. I think she's the best player on the sky. I did say that guy. She literally is the best player. There's no way. She shouldn't be featured as the number one player on that team. I mean, she is that good, uh, especially because she made her way back to the W coming off of the bench. I mean, the girl can play. I wonder if that wonderful player personality of yours had anything to do with it. Ah, there we go. Hey, hey well, well, I tell you guys, like her attitude is nasty, right? Right? I'm not trying to get all political, but, you know, apparently, you know, personality and identity means a lot so hey if, if it means that much in politics what do you guys think it means in sports right i'm just saying things to consider first is espn second is espn okay i like how they did that there your attitude and personality sucks take another year off you won't be missed jesus without kaylin clark no one would have ever known who kennedy carter is she better live in her fantasy and enjoy it <laughs> She can't even spell. Guess dumb athletes are also part of women's sports too. Uh, well, I think you should have put an S on here. It's all good. I still don't know who you are. <laughs> However, Kaylin has brought the attention of the whole world to the worthless NBA. Oh, I see how this. <laughs> wow, worthless NBA. That's a good one. I like that one. Just be glad someone is watching now due to her. She also can't speak English. Uh, and... Yeah, I, mean, I agree. I mean, if you guys look at it, she's like, uh, how I average, like, how? How about capitalizing your how? All right, in capitalizing I and inserting do. Let's clean this up. How do I average less minutes in my stats? R, let's insert R right here. Top in their, the league. Let's scratch the R out. Okay, let's make one question mark. Let's exit, let's X out, but, and put, however, I am at the bottom of this list. 
and it is not adding up the hate is so obvious there she go that's what she meant to say guys i cleared that up for you guys but these comments are going to go on and on and on people are going to get a kick out of this because uh hey you know she calls this on herself you know by doing all the nasty foul talking and foul playing against kaylin clark and i can guarantee you this i guarantee you, if she would have showed a little bit of veteranship or just clean play nobody would be treating kennedy carter like this so you get what you asked for kennedy carter this is what you did uh this is how you acted and these are the results uh kayla clark will still be number one in a lot of people's eyes and you will never be the considered to be in no one's top five ten or whatever you want to call it but nonetheless you are the best player on the chicago sky so you guys tell me what y'all think about this as kennedy carter goes on an epic rant for not being ranked above Kaylin Clark and saying that the hate is so obvious. Are you guys hating on her? Drop the comments in the comment section, guys. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you. Peace. Yeah.